Hold up your name real quick. I would say Brendan's really grown in his servanthood. He's been uh, doing a great job of serving his classmates and helping them with their math work. And he's done a, a great job of helping out at the chess club at Northgate Community Church. They have a chess club there that he belonged to when he was young. And he graduated out of that, and then they asked him to be a counselor, and then he's grown to lead that group now. And he's been doing that for a few years after school, leading that group and teaching them uh, chess there, which is one of his passions. Brendan is a, is a gifted mathematician, and um, he loves his academics, he loves his classes. He tends to take on more than, more than he should sometimes. And, he perseveres. He perseveres in spite of the, the challenges. He's very bright, but it, the classes that he takes on are very difficult. Um, but he definitely perseveres um, through it all. And he's learned humility, you know, even though God has gifted him, there are definitely challenges that, you know, he goes through. Loves his math. You know, he, I'm telling on him here, but he... He will sing when he's doing math. <laughs> he so loves his math. You know, the rest of it is just treachery. <laughs> but when he's doing math stuff, he's just like singing away. Like he's just so happy. And you know, it's not work for him at all. He's he's very loyal to his teams. He's loyal to people too. Yeah, you know, loyal to the school. If somebody says anything that's kind of even somewhat negative about the school or. Uh, administration or teachers or something. He's very defensive of them. Brennan has the potential to really be great and it would not surprise me if he doesn't do something that's really special because he can really think outside of the box and he doesn't think like everybody else and that is a blessing. Brennan has a very tender heart. Um, he doesn't show it outside of my house usually. Uh, if you he has a very tender heart and a very sweet sense of humor. When, six, when Brendan was six years old and we were going to the summer celebration, he was in the back seat and I could see he was thinking really hard. And I said, Brendan, what are you thinking about? And he says, well, I see we're going down the road at 60 miles an hour and the train over there is going half speed in the other direction. So I was wondering, in an hour, how far apart would we, we would be from the train? And I said, well, first of all, I'm thinking, of course, you're six years old, why are you thinking about this stuff? <laughs> but then I thought, well, okay, Brendan, well, how far will we be from each other in an hour? And he said, well, it has to be something less than 90. And I said, well, no, that's not right. I mean, it's trains half speed of 60, that's 30. 60 plus 30 is 90. Of course, I'm an accountant, so this is easy math for me, but, you know, he's six years old. And I said, uh, well, why do you think it's less than 90? And he says, well, because the train and the car are not going in straight lines. They're going around curves, and the car is making right turns. And I said, wow, that's right. It is less than 90. <laughs> And I was like amazed that a six-year-old could come up with something like this. It just was just stunning to me. And 